Good evening, welcome to Parliament News. First news from the Rajya Sabha. The Rajya Sabha today took up the much delayed bill to amend the constitution to pave the way for the introduction of GST with the main opposition Congress and other parties except the AIA DMK expressing support for the measure. Uh, moving the Constitution 122nd Amendment Bill 2014 amid thumping of desks by the entire House, the Finance Minister Arun Jaitley said that it was one of the most significant tax reforms in India in recent history that has been brought about after a broad consensus with various political parties. While commending the bill for consideration of the House, Jaitley said he was sure that the enactment of GST will bring about the best economic management in its federal form. And he said that the legislation was being enacted in the best possible way in the Indian federalism. And he also said that there was a need for a political consensus as far as possible to bring this bill and a process of dialogue with all major political parties and states was undertaken and the best possible output was incorporated in the bill. The legislation of this kind uh, cannot be made on the basis of a partisan approach as it impacts the center and the states, Jaitley said. He said that the government has systematically worked towards a political consensus and there is as far as a consensus as possible, if not unanimity as far as language and content of the bill is concerned. And the merits of the system are that it will convert India into a one economic market and will introduce a uniform tax across the country, checks, check evasion of tax, the finance minister said. Now this would also give a boost as far as growth rate is concerned, he added. Speaking on behalf of the Congress party, the former finance minister, Peach Dumbram, said that his party supports the idea of GST as well as the bill, which he noted had been improved after the government held talks with various parties, including his party. The Congress party was never against the idea of GST, he said, adding that the country is now ready to embrace GST. He said that his party had opposed the 2014 bill, but not the idea. He said the Congress wanted the bill to be more perfect, but noted that there can never be a perfect bill. Spelling out the problems his party had with the bill, he said that the Congress wanted a cap of 18% on the tax rate under GST, scrapping of the 1% retrograde tax, besides setting up of disputes redressal mechanism for resolving issues arising out of tax disputes between states. He wanted an assurance from the finance minister that when the GST bill is brought, it will be brought as a financial bill and not as a money bill. The standard rate should be capped at 18%, the Congress leader said, adding that he does not buy the argument that by keeping the rate at 18%, the states will lose revenue. He also opposed raising of service tax rate from the current 14.5% to around 23 to 24%, saying that it will be hugely inflationary and it will le lead to a backlash. The former finance minister said that the rate of tax must be changed by the approval of parliament and not by the executive. Naresh Agarwal of the Samajwadi party said that despite not wanting his party to support the bill uh, because they did not want to be blamed for being an obstruction in the country's progress, he also asked the country, the government, not to, not to make the GST bill a money bill. Agarwal also said that while the centre has kept two-thirds vote for states in the GST Council, decision is by three-fourths. So the centre's veto stays, he said. And he also wondered if the GST will be on food products as it will lead to price rise. Naveen Tha Krishnan of the AIA-DMK opposed the bill, saying that this constitutional amendment bill is not valid and violates the state's fiscal autonomy. It will give permanent revenue loss to Tamil Nadu. Noting that federalism is the basic feature of the Constitution, he said that the bill violates federalism. Derek O'Brien of the Trinamool Congress, while supporting the bill, took pot shots at the Congress and the BJP. Referring to Chidambaram, O'Brien said that the policy of his uh, Congress colleagues was to go slow tactics of the GST. 
and he said that it should be ensured that the GST is implemented by the 1st of April 2017 as this ping pong match cannot go on forever. Sharad Yadav of the JDU supported the bill and said that he was also instrumental in getting a consensus. He said that corruption increases with many tax laws and the GST will help reduce it. Rajya Sabha today saw heated exchanges between members of the Congress and the SP over the recent incidents of rape in Uttar Pradesh, particularly the gang rape of a mother and daughter. With uh, both the parties trading charges over the law and order situation, the Minister of State for Parliamentary Affairs, Mukhtar Abbas Naqvi, intervened to say that the incidents were highly condemnable and reminded that law and order is a state subject. Raising the issue during Zero Hour, Rajini Patel of the Congress said that the number of incidents of rape and other atrocities against women was on the rise and that there was an urgent need for the House to take note and discuss the issue. On other Congress, as, of, as other Congress members joined in, Jaya Bachchan, MP of the Samajwadi Party, which is in part in Uttar Pradesh, took strong objection. She likened the Congress raising this issue to crocodile tears and torture and asked them not to do uh, politics over an issue of atrocities and crime against women. Ambika Soni of the Congress immediately shot back, saying that it was a minister of the SP government in Uttar Pradesh who was playing politics over the incident. As the Congress members continued to raise the issue, the SP members vociferously kept hitting back. Deputy Chairman PJ Kurian said that the matter raised was very, very serious and every member was seeking a discussion. He said that there should be a notice. Tapan Kumar Sen of the CPIM said, that uh, a notice of a short duration discussion on the issue was given a few days back and it is pending with the chairman's office. The Rajya Sabha today saw a demand for a special audit by the CAG into a third party administrator rejecting or slashing medical insurance claims of policyholders in contravention of law. Raising the issue during Zero Hour, Sukendu Shekhar Roy of the TMC said that as per insurance regulator rules, TPAs cannot slash or reject a claim. But thousands of mediclaim insurances are rejected or slashed by TPAs, he said, alleging a nexus between TPAs and the insurance companies. He demanded a special CAG audit into the medical claims accepted and rejected in bust, uh, to bust the racket. And a third-party administrator, TPA, is an organization that professes insurance claims, that processes these insurance claims, or certain aspects of uh, employee benefit plans for the insurer. Javed Ali Khan of the SP raised the issue of railways deciding to terminate 16 passenger train services and curtail services of three others in the Moradabad division of Uttar Pradesh. Terming the step as anti-people and anti-poor, he said that when the rail budget was presented, it was dubbed as Chantaka budget or people's budget. But the actions are anti-people, he said. He also sought to know when the full services will be resumed as the order issued says that there has been that they have been put off def indefinitely. Wiplov Thakur of the Congress raised the issue of a schoolgirl committing suicide in Ghaziabad when teachers of a private school she studied in allegedly harassed her parents for non-payment of school fees. A new education policy, she said, should check private schools and not merely pay lip service. Mohammed Nadimul Haq of the TMC raised the issue of adulterants being used in food articles, including fruits and vegetables that caused cancer and other diseases, stating that healthy people led to a healthy nation. The, he said that the alarming levels of pesticide residues were being found in food articles and steps should be taken to check adulteration. He then went on to mention about the recent controversy uh, surrounding instant noodles, Maggie, uh, saying that it was banned in several parts of the country, but his party ruled West Bengal, gave it a clean shit. Later, the ban was lifted, he said. You should be strict, but you should not go on a witch hunt. Genuine manufacturers have to be protected, he said. This drew a remark from the deputy chairman, PJ Kurian, which uh, he himself later expunged, uh, saying that it was an off-the-cuff remark. Now news from the Lok Sabha. The government today said that two helicopters and four teams of the National Disaster Re Response Force have been sent to Maharashtra to help in the relief and rescue operation. Following the collapse of a bridge on the Mumbai-Goa highway, which swept away two buses and four other vehicles, the Home Minister informed the Lok Sabha during Zero Hour that he had spoken to the Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis.
to inquire about the incident. He assured the members that the centre would provide all possible help to the state government to deal with the situation. Meanwhile, Speaker Sumitra Mahajan has increased the tenure by two weeks of the committee inquiring into ARP MP Bhagwant Maan's conduct of live streaming of a video breaching parliament security. She said that the term has been extended in view of the panel's request for more time to do a detailed examination of the incident. Maan has been asked to stay away from parliament until the panel drafts its response. Also, the protest by YSR Congress members demanding special category status for Andhra Pradesh continued for the third day. Holding placards, they trooped into the well of the house and raised slogans demanding justice for the state following its bifurcation. The state urged them to go back as Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has already assured that the government is considering their demand, but they did not heed and sloganeering continued. And the Congress leader Malikarjun Karge highlighted that in the 125th anniversary year uh, celebration of the Dalit icon and father of the Indian constitution B.R. Ambedkar, books are not available. He said that Maharashtra government has not given NOC due to which Ambedkar Foundation has been uh, not able to print any of these books. At present, no copy of Ambedkar's work is available, he pointed out. Karge urged the government to hold negotiations with the state government to resolve the matter at the earliest. Responding to the demand, the Parliamentary Affairs Minister Anand Kumar said that the government would make all efforts to ensure that Ambedkar literature was available to the people. The BJD leader, uh, B. Mehthab, in fact, demanded that the centenary celebrations of the freedom fighter and former Chief Minister of Odisha, Biju Patnaik, a, a road in the national capital, be named after him. CPIM member P.K. Srimathi, teacher, uh, highlighted that the husband, father of the Bulanshahar gang rape victims had threatened to commit suicide if the culprits were not brought to book within three months. She stressed that the need, in fact, is to remove the social stigma attached with such crimes so that the rape survivors can live in peace and dignity. BJP MP Mukesh Rajput has said that the embankment on the Ganga and the Ram Ganga rivers, they have eroded, which uh, has flooded hundreds of villages. He demanded a compensation for the people and uh, those who have become homeless and their houses have been washed away, is what he said. The BJP, the BJD member, Rabindra Kumar Jina, said that 47 people died due to lightning on a single day in Odisha and demanded that the central government should provide 10 lakh rupees in compensation to the families of the dead people as compensation in addition to the 4 lakh rupees provided by the state government. The Trinamool Congress leader Kalyan Banerjee lamented the price rise of domestic LPG and said that the kerosene is not available under the PDS, which has adversely impacted kitchen firing. And he also said that uh, he demanded, in fact, the increase in the PDS quota for kerosene for, for, uh, for states. Shishmita Dev of the Congress said that the recent direction of removing Bengali-speaking Hindus and Muslims from the list of uh, original inhabitants of Assam was a violation of their rights. She said that such a move uh, be stopped as Bengali-speaking people have been living in Assam for over 100 years. And her party colleague, uh, Shanavas, highlighted the high capitation fees being charged for admission to LKG and other classes in Kerala and urged government to take steps to check it uh, so that the right to education is properly implemented. NPF member Nephew Rio said that the decision uh, that despite hundreds of rounds of negotiations there has not been any resolution of the Naga Peace Accord and he demanded that urgent steps be taken to ensure peaceful resolution of the Naga problem to ensure the development of the northeastern state. The TDP MP K. Geeta demanded promoting telemedicine in rural areas to improve health care facilities under the NRHM. The BJP member Dr. Sanjay Jaiswal highlighted the dust storm and uh, resulting respiratory uh, problems being faced by people of Raksol due to ingredients of cement meant for Nepal being offloaded there. The BJP member Sham Charan Gupta highlighted that candidates contesting elections now uh, they are distributing gifts to electorate before the formal notification so that money is not counted in their election expenditure. He stressed the need for electoral reforms to check such a malpractice. Participating in the discussion on sustainable development, the senior Congress leader, Veera Pamoyli, criticized the government for not being very serious on the issue of sustainable development. However, the Railway Minister Suresh Prabhu said government was making a 15-year strategy to integrate all suggestions into national mainstream and take action at the local level. He said that these actionable points would be implemented under the policy 
think global and act local. With that, we end Parliament News. Thank you for watching. Namaskar.